Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work with Access. And uh, for my students, I need to copy the file over. So we'll go to Drive S on our network. And go to my Davis folder. And in CIS 240, that's where we'll find the uh, Practice Final Exam folder in there. So we can um, copy the whole folder over. It's fine. And students, you're going to obviously go to your folder in Drive I. I'm going to go back to my folder on H and put that in the 240 file. And there's the folder. Inside what we have is a access database. Notice the purple key, uh, Mountain Animal Hospital MDB. We're going to open the database. And we always get the security warning, so we must say enable content, so click on that. And do you want to make this file a trusted document? Yes. Um, what you'll see is your basic access layout, file, home, create, external, data, database tools, lots of different kinds of tools. It's quite a bit different than what you see in other Office programs. Um, we have all access objects listed right here. Now I've simplified this particular database, took quite a few things out of it to make it uh, display better, but we have uh, two tables. We could have tables, we could have queries, reports, all listed down here, but right now I just have two tables, customer table and a pets table. So let's open up the customer table. And what you'll see is just a flat table, kind of looks like an Excel table, but with lots of different column headings. And for Mountain Animal Hospital, obviously that's like a vet clinic, so we have customers that must pay the bills for um, their, the work done on their different pets. And then we have the pets table, which if I double click on that, that's more about the pet's name, type of animal, the breed, the date of birth, gender, colors, all those things that are specific to each pet. All right, so having seen those two tables, we want to create a query. Query is when you're going to question the database to find out uh, something you didn't know before. So for instance, how many, um, how many um, certain types of dog breeds do we have? So instance, for instance, I could go up to uh, create, the create tab. And query, like I said, means to question the database. So we'll go to query design. And what pops up is show table, but it also means show any queries or both if we had queries already built we could pull from them as well so because we have these two tables they are joined and we'll talk about that in just a second so we have the customer table I can add because I'm gonna pull a little bit of information from each table and then I'm gonna click on the pets table and add that and close this out and you can treat these like graphics you can grab the bottom corners and just expand it out to see the whole thing obviously I don't need to be that deep with it but here we go now you also may notice this uh, line that just like uh, is like uh, so sticky it sticks right to and joins one table to the other and we have a one-to-many relationship there we have customer number is what it looks like it's joined to and at customer number you see a key well the key refers to a primary key this is the primary key field for the customer table on the pets table we have the pet ID is is got the key next to it that means that's the primary key for the pets table um, these can be joined because we have customer number showing in the customer table and we also have customer number in the pets table and that's why these two tables can communicate with each other they have one common thread there the customer number and remember a primary key in one table that shows up in another table is called the foreign key. Obviously that's some of our vocabulary words for this week. So what I want to do next is just select some fields from each table and then start sorting it down. So let's just say I want customer number, customer name, street address, city, state, zip. Obviously if I wanted to send them a letter I would need all those fields in there which obviously ultimately goes back to Word and doing a mail merge and um, not asking for any uh, financials so uh, we'll leave the outstanding balance one off of there. Now I'm going to zip over to the pet table and I, I want pet name, uh, type of animal, breed, and you know I could pick gender or whatever I need there and just kind of show you some things you can do with this. So. Let me scroll over because obviously as I double clicked on 
these particular items they started showing up down below in the query section. Now let me go over to um, scroll over to type of animal for instance. Now um, we've got a column for type of animal. We also have a criteria row. So you need to intersect the criteria row with the type of animal column if I want to just sort down to certain kinds of animals. So let's just say I, I just want to show um, only dogs. So I'll just put dog in there for criteria under type of animal. And I'll click away from it and it, notice it puts it in quotation marks. So far I'm just going to start with that one to show you how this all works together. And if I want to run my query and just see how many dogs I have in this database, um, all I have to do is go to the toolbar at the top and on the far left it says run. It's got a big red exclamation point above it. So all you gotta do is click run and it's gonna return, obviously it's a small database, but it's gonna return all the dogs that are within the database. Obviously various breeds, um, various genders there, and various owners. So that took care of that query. If I wanted that query, I would just save that query and then, you know, if I needed to do a mail merge with it, I, I would tap into that particular query file. Now, to get back to where you were, just go back to Views on the top left and click on the Choices for Views and go back down to Design View. And when you're back in Design View, here you are again with your last query. Let's say I want to go a little further with it and just say, hey, breed, um, I think I saw some German Shepherds in there. And Shepherd is really hard to, uh, it can be spelled different ways, but for German Shepherd, as in the dog breed, it's SHP. P-H-E-R-D. Okay. You may not know that. Anytime you encounter it where you kind of know what the uh, name should be but you're not quite sure, okay, maybe you know how to spell um, German and maybe you know that it starts with shepherd, S for shepherd. Uh, you can also put wildcard symbols in there. So I'm going to put the asterisk in there. So I'm not sure how to spell shepherd so to keep from getting no results I'm going to put S asterisk in there and it'll pull up anything that says German S and then something else beyond that okay so notice it says like that so and then we'll go up and run it and it uh, oh that's how you spell shepherd S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D so it returned four dogs that are German Shepherds now again go back to um, design view and uh, maybe I want to change it Maybe I, I want to say type of animal, not a dog this time. Let me get that out of there. And let me get the German Shepherd part out of there. And under type of animal, let's go with pig this time. So we're going to search just pigs. And there's several different kinds of pigs. There's um, pot-bellied pigs. There's pocket pigs. Um, so we can just, uh, this time, search pocket. And so at this point, we can have our criteria we can say run and let's check it out type of animal pig yes breed pocket alright so that sorted it down to the three we have there obviously this is a small database most databases are absolutely um, have millions of entries in them and it works just as quick to return whatever results you're looking for you can ask a question of any database on any given day using these kinds of tools and that's what makes one of the things that makes uh, database is so powerful and useful. So, um, can you take it further? Yes, you can sort on any particular column. And let me just keep going out back out here. Um, let me go one step further and say, okay, just return female pocket pigs. So, I'll have to probably type female. I don't think I can just do F. And, depends on the database, of course. And let me run this one. Okay, and in this case, we had three last time, and all three of these are female, so that's why it gave us the same list again. If I had some males in there, it would uh, sort them out. Let's go back and let's try it by saying, um, instead of female, it put male in there. And the return should probably be, um, I don't think it's going to be any, but let's just check it out. So, pocket pigs that are males. And let's run the query. And I get no results because none of none of them in the database are male pocket pigs. All right, so again, go back to view, design view, and uh, that's just some key things you can do and to manipulate a database to build a query. Thank you for your time.